Welcome to this example video where we'll show how to set up an ABR barcode reader to do a basic match code application from start to finish. Here is barcode manager software and I have one reader to connect to. We will start by opening the default settings. So we can start from scratch. You can see we are taking images, but the image is dark and we are not reading a barcode currently. So we will start with the auto setup. This button here. I will select 1D codes and begin. It will try different brightness combinations, searching for a barcode, and then optimize for whatever barcode it finds. It found my UPC, adjusted the brightness and code reading settings, and now it's finished. Now we can go on to the reading phase page. On the reading phase page is where we would set up control for when the ABR is told to take an image and look for a barcode. We could select one of these three modes, continuous mode, one-shot mode, or phase mode. One-shot mode would look to input one by default to take one image when the input turns on. Phase mode would take multiple images while input one is on. For this demo, we will keep it in continuous mode, but I will slow the rate down to take an image every two seconds. Also, while we're here, I will check my input one settings and set this for PNP to match my wiring because I want to use input one in this case as a match code save input. On the Goodreads setup page is where we define what is success. The middle part of the screen shows what needs to be read to give us a good read. We have four different modes we can run in. I want to switch this to match code for this match code application. On the right side, we see what happens after a good read occurs. If a UPC is read to give us a good read, then to give us a match event, we need to have the barcode that is read to match whatever data is here in the expected content box. I'll start by pressing this capture from decoded image button. So the UPC I just read is now automatically put into my expected content box. So that code will now match and give us the match code event you see here. I also want to have a physical input be able to save a new match code so I will select input based here. Now input one will be the match code save input. Let's move on to data formatting page. Here I want to make the no match code event, which is reading a different barcode or a mismatch, I want this to say mismatch. And I want my no read event to say no read. That looks good. Let's go to the output setup page. On a match code event, 
I want output 2 to turn on. Let's make the timeout longer. A full half second. And let's do the same to output 1, which will turn on on a no match code event. Okay, our outputs are configured. I will also make them P and P to match my wiring. Output one, set that for P and P as well. Now at this point, I will use the advanced setup page to view the data that is being sent out the Ethernet port and the image at the same time. I can see this barcode is reading and sending out the barcode contents data, which means it must be a match. If I move this barcode away, I get my no read string. And if I give it a different barcode on this two pack, I should get my mismatch string. This all looks good, so I should be ready to dis disconnect the software and enter run mode. My output is blinking this red LED as it reads the barcode because it is a mismatch. If I want to save this code as a match code, all I have to do is hold this input on while it reads. And now the match code is taught, and now I'm getting the other output, which is wired to the green LED in this K30 indicator. Now if I put the single pack barcode back in front of it, now this is giving me the red mismatch output until I hold an input down while it reads, saving that again as the match code.